what's up everybody welcome to another video in the series and in the previous video we solved this question a very big sum in, the, in this one we will be solving the next one which is diagonal difference so let's check it out given a square matrix calculate the absolute difference between the sum of its diagonals okay so for example the square matrix arr is shown below 1 2 3 4 5 6 9 8 9 the left to right diagonal meaning this one is 1 plus 5 plus 9 okay so you add those you get 15 and then you add the right to left diagonal, so 3 plus 5 plus 9, so 9, 3, 12, 5, 17, and then you print their difference, 2. Okay, so you have to, you would be given a square matrix, which is a two dimensional array, right? Like n cross n, uh, you would have n by n multiplied by n elements in a two dimensional array. Right, this is two dimensional, right? Yeah, this is two dimensional array with n rows, or you could say n rows and n columns. A two dimensional square matrix, right? Well, a square is two dimensional, so I guess you don't have to say two dimensional, just square matrix works, right? So, we learn 2, 4, 4, 5, 6, 10, 8, minus 12, sample output 15. The primary diagonal is this one. So, the main goal is to access is to access these three elements in the left right diagonal and then we have to summing would be easy and then you have to access these three elements i mean these it would be n elements for n input here so and then you would have to find the difference okay so i'm going, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of that in the first line we would be taking the value of n so let's do that n is equal to int input okay and then you have to um, take a square matrix okay so you, if you have n here you would have to take n lines of input and in every single line you would have n elements right so you would have to run a loop for i in range n so you can take input n times now and in every input you would have to it would have to be an integer list so you would have to split this and you would have to use map to convert it into integers because by default they would be characters and then you would have to convert it into a list and then okay so let's do rows right let's do rows is equal to nothing and then we can simply append this in the rows list okay so we are taking input we are taking a row input here and then we are storing that in the row right and then uh, we don't really have to call it rows let's call it matrix it does not matter obviously that's just nomenclature but since we, we are not going to use column here so that would seem kind of biased so let me just call it matrix yeah but essentially it is the row just so you know right so for i in range n matrix dot append okay so this way you're gonna uh, store each of rows into the matrix list right and then you have to access the left right diagonal and the right to left diagonal and then you have to sum it so let's make two let's make two uh, variables first to calculate the sum so we are gonna say left to right 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 equal to zero and right to left is equal to zero okay and then we have to go through the list right so let's do for i in range n since we would have n elements in each row okay so in the first when in the when we run the uh loop first time let, let me go ahead and show you how it works so here we would be giving you an example i would be giving you an example so let's say you have one two three then you have four, five, six, and then you have nine, eight, nine in the as in the sample input here. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, nine, and nine, eight, nine. So you would say, when you run this loop the first time, you have to access the first element here, you know, for the left-right matrix. When you are running the loop for the second time, you have to access the second element, and when you are running the loop for the third time, you are accessing the third element, right? Or the left-right diagonal, that is. So that's essentially what we are going to do here. We are simply going to say uh, matrix and matrix is the entire 
is this entire thing this whole thing it would be stored like this actually let me show you how it, it would be stored um, it would be stored like that right so matrix you would be ha you would have to access the first row you would say matrix i right and then in the for the first element matrix i would give you this list and in this uh, in this uh, sub list you would have to access the first element just one so you would say i again and that would give and that would give you the matrix 0 0 and when the value of i would be 1 you would get 1 1 of this matrix this is the coordinate of uh, 5 1 1 and then when the value of i would be 2 you would you would grab this one this 9 here and then you have to add that to left to right variable there that we defined here right so you can just say left to right you can copy that and you can simply add that one right so that was easy now we have to access this one this 3 this 5 and this 9 right and we can see that when the when we are in the first row we have to grab the last the last element and when we are in the first row we are grabbing the second last element and when we are in the last row we have to grab the first element so it goes in reverse right so we, you would have to say right to left plus is equal to but what would you write here that's the question right so it would be again oops I go to double r okay so here also you would have to use the same notation but uh, these value that you enter inside the brackets would be different so the i would be same because when you are running uh, the first loop you would be grabbing the you would you would be grabbing any single uh, any single element from the first row when the value of i is 1 you would be grabbing it from the from the second row and when the value of i would be 2 you would be grabbing it from the last one right so the first would be i but what would be this one that's the, that's the question so you see that the value of n here it was 3 right and you have to grab this one which is 0 1 2 this is the uh, this element is as a, is at the second index so you have to do n minus 1 right this one would be n minus 1 this one instead or I mean this element here this 5 would be 9 minus 2 and this one would be 9 n minus 3 this would be n minus 2 and this would be n minus 3 so and the value of n is 3 so 3 minus 3 would give you 0 so this is giving you 0 this is giving you 1 and that is giving you 2 which is the right order for the right to left element or the right to left diagonal so that's what you would have to write here you would have to say n minus i but the thing is that i starts with 0 and not 1 so you would have to add uh, one more um, you would have to subtract one more from this to give it the same effect and this one would be the constant and i since the value of i increases so in the second iteration when i when the value of i is 1 it would be n minus 1 minus 1 so it would be n minus 2 and that would give you 1 and that would give you this element right here and when we are running the loop for the last time and the value of i is 2 you would be subtracting n which is 3 so 3 minus 2 minus 1 so that would give you zero and then you can grab this element right here and then in each iteration we are adding that element into the right to left diagonal right there and then in the end we have to print the difference the absolute difference between those two values we, would, we can simply say print abs which is uh, which gives you the absolute difference or actually the absolute value of anything so if you write minus three here it would simply print three because that's the absolute you find the absolute value of any number by neglecting the sign so we would have to say left to right minus right right to left okay so if we run that let me see so we have to print yeah we, have, we just have to print the absolute difference so if we if we run that let's see what we're getting we are getting the right result we don't have any syntax errors and stuff let's submit and see if it works all the test cases are passing this one is taking a lot of time so I'm guessing it must have okay that one passed 
So that's the solution for this problem. And if you have any doubts, put them down in the comments below. And for the next question, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.